So guys, I wanted to do an interesting video, just show you the power of a lens. A lot of people ask me what camera I use, but they never ask me what lens I use. Lenses are very important, and I would probably say even more important than the body. So right now I'm filming on the 18-135. to It has a great focal length. You can kind of zoom in and out. Um, but the worst thing about this lens is that the f-stop is variable. So depending if you're at 18 millimeters, you could be at f3.5. But if you want to zoom in, they limit you to as bad as 5.6. Where this lens right here is the Canon 24 to 70 f2.8. Uh, so this is a really good lens. I love this lens. Only problem is this lens is about $1,800. Now there are a ton of great options for people that are looking to spend less. The um, 24 millimeter f 2.8 and the f 1.8 50 millimeter are both really good lenses. I will link to all three, including this one, in the um, description below. Check them out. If you shoot Canon, you have to get at least one of them if you only have a kit lens right now. Basically, getting away from a kit lens allows you would use the lower ISO so it can increase your uh, video quality. You can decrease your f-stop so you have better depth of field in the back. But so let me just show you. So let's take off the kit lens and I'll show you what it looks like. The depth of field or the bokeh in the background looks so much better when you get to like 50 millimeters and up. So um, here is 50, which I know we're gonna get real close, but the background is like really, really, really blurry. Um, if you go up to 70, which that will make me even closer, like the depth of field should look really good back there. Oftentimes if I'm outside, I'll film at like um, 50 millimeters or even 70 millimeters just because like that focal length makes the background blur out so nicely. I did a video where I did that um, outside, like right at pretty close near to sunset. I didn't color grade or anything and I just thought the colors came out beautifully. So guys, basically what I'm saying is if you bought a camera and you're using the lens it came with, you owe it to yourself to not be limited to just that. Especially if you do video, the biggest benefit is being able to change the f-stop to lower than like 3.5. f2.8 is great for portraits. Any lower than like your ears and your nose stop um, becoming in focus. So I will put links in the description below check out a few of my recommendations. My recommendations range from $100, like $150, and then of course the lens I'm shooting on right now is like $1,800, but you don't have to get that, of course. If you wanna check out my other gear I use to film my videos, those will also be in the description below. Other than that, make sure you like the video. If you have already liked it, thank you. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that as well. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.